Hey, what's up? It's Sixtadio. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, iPhone 4 4S color conversion review. Um, I've been using my iPhone 4S, uh, my personal 4S anyway, for the past three to three and a half weeks. I color converted. And I'm just going to go over my personal user experience with it and um, just some of the pros, the cons that people usually face with them. But um, from my personal experience, I've experienced absolutely none of those cons. Um, some of those include uh, small things such as home button, uh, whether or not it clicks the way it should, which mine works perfectly fine. Uh, proximity, sen proximity sensor, nah, my mouth's kind of dry. Uh, whether or not your proximity sensor will actually respond during a phone call. Um, camera lens, uh, flash diffuser. LCD quality, whether it's degraded or uh, kept the same or even improved. Um, but yeah, that's basically about it as far as the cons go. Um, oh yeah, plus it voids your warranty. Yes, it does. But I'll get into that in just a second. Um, so let's go over LCD quality first. Um, LCD quality in no way at all is a compromise. Actually, uh, on this one it's actually improved. Sometimes when you do uh, just a front assembly replacement, which when you get the kits, they come with um, LCD and digitizer fuse. This is my original OEM part that came out of the box on my iPhone. And this is how they ship from Apple. This is what an OEM part looks like. It has the tape on both sides on the 4S and um, has the uh, model number printed right up here. Plus they usually come with a little camera adapter thing glued to it and the uh, ear speaker cover. But yeah, that's the OEM part. With my back, um, actually no, I'm still doing the LCD, fuck that, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> um, as far as I can see, my LCD quality is actually improved. Uh, on my original OEM part, the LCD was actually a little bit dimmer. Uh, when I compare it to like display phones at Sprint, Verizon, AT&T stores, or even the Apple store, my LCD quality was actually less than the uh, than those display ones. And uh, just when comparing it to even uh, used iPhone fours, four S's that my friends have or whatever, my LCD quality was well just shitty. Um, and the way I usually compare them is by going to the settings app and going to brightness. Kind of bright, and then just comparing them side by side, comparing contrast, comparing overall brightness. Mine is brighter um, than most other ones now that I compare to. However, some contrast is a little bit compromised when compared. Uh, on the dimmer ones, on the dimmer stock iPhones, uh, LCDs, um, just some contrast is compromised, but uh, overall. Uh, the brightness is higher than most, which may use a little bit more battery life. Um, I have noticed a little bit more decreased battery life due to the LCD. However, it's maybe a percent faster. Or not a percent faster, maybe like a tenth of a percent faster is what I meant. Um, if it was a full percent faster degrading battery life, that would suck balls bad. But I'm going to have my brightness up all, all the way all day anyway, so... But um, other than that, not much uh, battery life is compromised there. But the LCD quality is better in my opinion. Um, with the proximity sensor, I haven't had any issues. I'm going to go ahead and call 611. And uh, once it goes through, I'll show you how well it works. Okay, so uh, proximity sensor works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and go to the front facing camera. Hey, what's up? Now the back camera. Now, um, I don't know if you can see this very well. Yeah. And um, absolutely no uh, quality loss there. However, what I did do is, uh, here's my original iPhone 4S pack. Um, I actually took the uh, 
the camera lens from uh, both backs and just switched them. That way uh, the lens quality wouldn't be lost. The camera quality would be the same just because, well, it's the camera itself. But um, the little advanced optics bullshit that Apple says it has, um, I don't really think it really has any higher quality than the ones that come on the aftermarket parts. And um, also, just to make something completely clear, there is no such thing as an OEM colored part. It just does not exist. Um, all the uh, colored glasses is really just a clear piece of iPhone glass with colored enamel and a colored bezel. That's all it is. But um, other than that, it's not OEM because Apple doesn't do this at all. Maybe it might come from the same factory, from a Foxconn workers just trying to make a few extra bucks. Because uh, they do only get paid a dollar an hour, so you know, thirty-seven bucks from them for a whole kit is fucking gold or something. <laughs> it's like selling gold or something like to them. But anyway, um, the home button, of course, is not original because it's a colored home button. Um, no less quality there at all. The back, of course, there's not much on the back other than the uh, flash diffuser and uh, camera lens, which I just went over that. Flash diffusers on a colored glass, there was an issue with that with the original white iPhone from Apple, which is why they delayed it, or they say they delayed it, because there was some kind of weird lighting issue. However, um, on this one, I haven't really had any issue at all with it. I mean, I don't really use it other than a flashlight, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the flash diffuser anyway, because some of you have that little tiny concern. I'm going to go to the recorder, turn it on, it's kind of bright, I don't want to get blinded. So, about, so behind my finger you can still see it, but yeah. But um, just as bright, even though um, it's going to be bright anyway because that's the LED flash. It's bright as shit. Um, but yeah, no compromise quality at all. Now um, as far as like different colors, variety of colors, you can get literally any color you want just about now as far as like contrast to what color you get I mean you don't get much option there but um you get like light blue dark blue this is dark royal navy blue and this is just light sky kind of turquoise blue I don't know if you can really see that oh, there we go if you can really see that quality now I did take the camera lens out of here because it was kind of shitty on this one but um yeah, this is pretty much the same um, most of these parts I just get off of eBay. These ones I got off of eBay for 53 bucks from a U.S. seller. Um, what he did confirm to me was that it's either uh, Sharp or LG that this LCD is from. So uh, that would explain why the LCD is better quality than the, the regular Samsung LCDs that come in the Apple iPhones. Or Apple stock iPhone parts, I mean. But, um, yeah. You can also get a, a transparent glass with a color accent or a black or white, just basic, but just uh, clear so you can see inside your phone, which some people think it's cool, kind of. I mean, I like the colored ones, kind of, but I like the, the full solid colors. I mean, yeah. And uh, this is my favorite shade of blue, so that's why I changed mine to blue, plus it's a good marketing tool uh, for my work. Um, I also work at Cell Again at the Layton Hills Mall in Layton City, Utah. I'm the technician manager. And uh, we offer this service for um, for 4S for 130 for front and back, or um, for iPhone 4 full conversions. It's uh, 110 so 20 bucks less there if you have a 4. And that's for the CDMA or GSM version. Um, I'm just going to show you, you know, a front assembly of the aftermarket part. Now, um, just to get one thing completely clear, all colored parts are all aftermarket. There's no such thing as OEM or OEM quality, whatever. It might be the same LCD quality, but or better in my case. But um, there's no such thing as an OEM colored part. But this is how they should ship. You can buy the LCD and digitizers not fused together. I highly recommend against that, even though it's a cheaper way to uh, go for that. If you want the best... Uh, possible quality uh, go with them fused together just so that dust or whatever doesn't get between your LCD and digitizer um, 
Yeah, but like I said, uh, go on eBay. You can find the, the kits for about you know, 50 to 60 bucks for 4S. Sometimes you can find them for about 45 for iPhone 4. just depends on the seller. Um, I can send you links if you want, if you want to uh, PM me. Or uh, just comment in the box below and I'll just personal message you later. But yeah, uh, that's just a basic review of colored glass for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. And uh, just a little bit of comparison. But anyway, if you like the video at all, uh, comment, rate, subscribe in the box below, or follow me on Twitter at Sixtalio. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Kind of a drawn out video, but yeah, fuck it. Alright, this is Sixtalio. I'm signing out, and uh, I'm going to do something else with my time at 3 in the fucking morning. <laughs> Alright, see ya.